Hello beauties, welcome to Subcondition Monday. Today I'm going to be speaking specifically about blackheads. How do you take care of blackheads? Now let's talk about what a blackhead is. A blackhead is bacteria, dead cells and sebum, which is oil. Builds up inside a pore and it can stretch a pore because if you have a big buildup of bacteria, dead cells and sebum, it's going to stretch your pores, which makes your pores larger. We don't want larger pores. Blackheads are seen in people that have oily skin. An oily skin person will have blackheads all over their face, including inside the ear. A combination skin, combination oily, is this oily T-zone, meaning blackheads all down that area, drier sides here. A combination dry, which is my personal skin, is blackheads in this area here, which is just the nose and the chin area. A true dry skin, which is only about 15% of the population has no blackheads. Everybody else has blackheads. So blackheads are normal. As I said, I have them here. What isn't normal is to have them really large or to feel them when you run your finger across your nose. If you are somebody that has blackheads on your nose and you run your finger across your nose and you can feel a blackhead, that means you are not cleaning your skin well enough. You have to clean your skin well and you have to spend a good amount of time. I always say use a non-foaming cleanser because sometimes the foaming cleansers, they dry that outer, outer layer of the skin and then a blackhead, nothing can get out. You need blackheads, which is oil, to be able to come out on its own so at the same time you have to clean your skin really well at night and I always tell people please make sure you're washing your face for 30 to 60 seconds every single night you put that cleanser on do circular motions do around the areas where you've got blackheads get a warm wet washcloth take it off onto that which also acts as a little bit of an exfoliant a washcloth so you want to really clean your skin well a lot of people they don't clean their skin thoroughly therefore they have a lot more blackheads and as i said you don't ever want to be able to feel a blackhead when you rub your finger across your nose if you can feel bumpy that means you are not cleaning your skin well enough uh, cleansing means nighttime cleanse you need to cleanse twice the first cleanse, massage it in for 30 to 60 seconds, take it off with a warm wet washcloth. The second cleanse, you massage it in and then what you do is you rinse it off with lukewarm water, then dry your face with a towel. Now that's how you clean your skin really well. Now if you clean your skin really well, your pore size is going to be small, okay? If you are not cleaning your skin thoroughly or you're going to bed with makeup on, your pore size is gonna be larger. As you get older, your skin, the elasticity in the collagen is not as active and it means your skin will get loose so it means your pores are even going to get bigger if you are not cleaning your skin thoroughly it's very very important you clean your skin thoroughly the other things that I use in my treatments is I need my tools I need tools because when I do extractions I cannot get a blackhead out of an ear if I do not have a tool so my tools are these tools here with a very fine one I like to have a variety of tools all four tools that you're seeing right now are going to be in your VIP section of the, the Dallas show. So you are getting all of these as part of your swag bag. But these tools I get from, you can only buy them from an aesthetic show. They're the Fallon brand and I really like them because they don't rust. They last a lifetime. They're fantastic. I need one that has a thinner and I hope you can see that. I also like the ones that are a little bit thicker because, um, and this one he has an angle for the ears. Uh, this one here too, very, very thin little base. I like to have a tweezer because sometimes I need to pull the tweezer, the uh, blackhead out of the skin because sometimes you can't just keep squeezing and, uh, and when they're not coming out and you're just causing ruddiness around the blackhead and causing inflammation, sometimes they need to be pulled out. So this is very important if you are an ST to have your tools. The other thing that's super important is I need my products that are going to help me after I've extracted the skin. I need my products and I use Rejuvi in my treatment line, which is my treatment line of choice because it works, guys. This is how I get to be able to do 
three or four facials and change somebody's skin so quickly because you need to have good tools, especially as an esthetician. This one here, the normalizing formula is an AHA designed especially for oily skin with blackheads and pimples. Uh, it helps lighten any marks on the skin because sometimes with uh, with pimples, as you know, you can get post scarring uh, as a result of the inflammation and the, the melanocyte, the pigment cell that um, disperses and it really can hold on to the pigment. So the normalizing formula is great. My fruit complex number one for a more somebody like my skin, a combination skin that doesn't really get pimples, but I still have blackheads and I still need something that's going to help to tighten up my pore size, to help tighten up my skin in general. And and also lighten my brown spots, um, lessen the depth of my wrinkles. That's what an AHA does. Now, if you are of a Fitzpatrick scale, the higher end, five and six, meaning that you have got a darker skin tone, AHAs are sometimes not great because they can burn the skin. And that's why it's very important if you are of a darker skin tone, you must have your retinoids. I love retinoids. I use them all the time and in my treatments, but particularly on Fitzpatrick scale, five and six of the darker skin tones, retinoids are amazing. They will also help shrink pores. The same as an AHA, they're just, just a different molecular size and weight and their structure is completely different, but they lighten brown spots, lessen the depth of wrinkles, exactly the same. They're just a different structure. So that being said, when you are somebody that has blackheads, you have to keep your skin, number one, really clean. You also need to use an active that's gonna keep your pore size small once your, your pore is clean because you cannot shrink a pore if it's got a big buildup of, of bacteria and sebum and dead cells. You can't shrink a pore unless a pore is clean. So after I do extractions, AHAs are really important for me to put on the skin because now I have a clean skin because I've extracted it and now I can shrink the pore size. And that's how your pores stay small. And if you're using an active on a daily basis at home, as meaning an AHA or a retinoid, your pore size will stay small forever.